Will the pyramids that we know as one of the seven wonders survive in the world? Did scientists find an answer to the puzzle of how the pyramids were built in ancient Egypt? Are some people still believe that the jinn are the builders of these pyramids? Is it possible to believe that creatures from outer space built the pyramids of Egypt? These speculations filled the world and lasted for several centuries, but the new discovery made by scientists from France and America will change the scientists' backquote look forever. It will also give a simple scientific explanation to the mystery of building the pyramids. It was believed that the pharaohs have carved the stones but the question here is, how come all the stones are so identical that you cannot find a distance between one stone and another? And where are the equipments and chisels that were used in carving those stones? Until now, they have not been found? This discovery confirms that the scientists were wrong when they thought that the pyramids were built of stones. The nearest answer to logic and truth is to say that the civilization of the pharaohs was built on the clay. David Ovitz's famous book entitled, Iles ont Bati les Pyramides, published in France in 2002, has resolved all problems and puzzles which were told about the way that the pyramids were built. Moreover, he put a simple geometric construction mechanism of mud. It was very convincing to many researchers in this field of science. Some researches emphasized that furnaces or stoves were used in ancient times to make ceramics and statues. The common use of fire was to build status of clay, mixed with metals and natural materials. After that, they lit a fire until the statue solidifies and takes the shape of real rocks. Many civilizations used the heated clay for making stones, statues and tools. All researches confirmed that this method used by the pharaohs in high buildings such as pyramids. They made wooden rails that went round the pyramid in a spiral way like the grape's tabernacle which grows around itself and ascends to the top. Other researches reached the same result. Other analysis using X-ray proved existence of air bubbles in the samples taken from the pyramids which were formed during the pouring stones from mud and evaporation of water from mud. Furthermore, these bubbles do not exist in natural stones and this adds new evidence that the stones are made of clay and limestone not older than 4,700 years. Mario Calepardi, an Italian professor, studied the architecture of the pyramids, emphasized that the pharaohs brought the limestone dust available a lot in their area, mixed it with normal soil. Then they added water from the river Nile and lit fire to a temperature up to 900 degrees Celsius. This heat gave the stone strength and a shape similar to natural rocks. The new idea does not cost a lot of effort because workers will not carry and raise any stones. All they have to do is to make the templates in which they pour mud and transfer mud from the ground and raise them in small containers. Each worker carries a container with mud to fill the templates. Then comes the process of lighting fire until the stone is shaped and stayed in place making sure by this way that there are no spaces between the stone and the other. Using this method helped in keeping the pyramids safe for thousands of years.